Hello dear students. In this video, we are going to discuss about the introduction to the subject analog and digital electronic. The subject code is 18 CS 33. My name is Kiran Etigi and before going into the details of module 1, we shall just have a overlook or uh, the overview of the syllabus of analog and digital electronics. So in this subject, you are going to learn about the analog electronics and digital electronics. You will be having an internal examination of 40 marks which is of duration 1 hour and 15 minutes and and semester end examination of 60 marks which is having a duration of 3 hours. The course learning objectives are as follows. <coughs> Explain the use of photoelectronic devices, triple five timer IC, regulator ICs and 741 operational amplifier. In short form it is called as OPAMP. <coughs> Make use of simplifying techniques in the digital design of combinational circuits. Illustrate the combination and sequential combinational and sequential digital circuits. Demonstrate the use of flip-flops and apply them for the registers, design and test counters, analog to digital and digital to analog conversion techniques. So these are the objectives of this course which we are going to study in this semester. <coughs> Next, the course is uh, structured in this way that is in the module 1 we are going to study about the analog electronic devices. And from module 2 onwards, we are going to study about the basics of digital electronics. And in module 3, we are going to study about the design of these uh, digital circuits. Digital circuits are divided into two types that is combinational circuits and sequential circuits. Okay. In the module 3, we are going to study about the combinational circuits and in the module 4, Along with the study of the sequential circuits, we are going to study about um, hardware description language. HDL stands for hardware description language. V in this case, it stands for very high speed IC. Okay. Sim uh, likewise, you have a software languages such as C and C++. These are the software languages which define the software and the hardware description language define the hardware. In module 5, we are going to study about more about the sequential circuits that is the devices such as registers and counters and how to design them. Okay. So this is the brief introduction or a overview of the syllabus of this subject that is analog and digital electronics. Now, the prerequisite to study this subject as you have already learned this subject basic electrical engineering, C programming for problem solving and the basic electronics. It will, these are the prerequisite to study this subject to understand the concept of, uh, explained in this subject clearly. Introduction to digital ones and zeros. Now, what is a digital signal? Digital signals are nothing but a signal which is represented in terms of digits. The digits used in this digital signal are 0 and 1. Because we are using only two digits, it is also called as binary. Because bi stands for 2. Okay, Two digits that is 0 and 1. 0 indicates the lowest signal that is 0 volt and the 1 indicates the highest signal uh, uh, value that is 5 volt. In this case we are taking the maximum uh, voltage is 5 volt so 
the highest value of the signal is 5 volt representing the same uh, now the <coughs> Uh, uh, voltage values that is 0.8, 2 volt, 0.8 volt and 2 volt. These are invalid voltages. Are we or we are not using these voltages in representing our digital signals? In representing digital signal, we make use of only two values that is 0 and 1. All right. So 0 indicates 0 volt and 1 indicates the highest voltage. In this graph, it is in this figure, it is 4 volt. Okay. Now what are these timings? These are nothing but the values of the signal at these times. That is at T0 the value of the signal is 0, at T1 it is 1, T2 it is 1 and um, after T2 it is uh, 0 till T3 and from T3 to T5 it is 1. Okay. So the uh, important thing to understand here is that in digital signal the two voltage levels are logic level uh, are represented using 0 and 1 these are the only two digits <coughs> now some questions what are the two numeric digits used to represent states in digital system so the two numeric digits are 0 and 1 what are the two terms used to represent the two logic levels so the two terms used to represent the two logic levels are logic level 0 and logic level 1 what is the abbreviation for uh, abbreviation for binary digit it is bit now digital signal introduction now as i told you that digital signal are nothing but the signal which is represented using digits now this is the digital signal this is 1 this is 0. Now when there is a transition from 1 to 0 it is called as a fall. This transition is called as an edge because this transition is happening from 1 logic level 1 to logic level 0 it is called as a falling edge. Similarly when the transition is happening from logic level 0 to logic level 1 <coughs> this is called as a rising edge. Now need for timing digital signal. Okay, why do we need to time this signal? Okay, to show the relationship between the changes at the input and the changes at the output in order to demonstrate the operation of the system. See what is the system? System will be having uh, some input and it will be going to process that uh, the system is going to process that input and it will be going to give the output. Now it is obvious that when you give an input it will be taking some time to give the output. So the time when the input is applied and the time when the output is obtained to represent this we need timing the digital signal. Okay, The logic states must be observed over the time. Okay, At input what is the logic state and what is the out, uh, at, at output and what is the logic state we need to observe them. So we need the timing diagram. Timing diagrams show the relationship over time between many digital signals. Analog and digital representations. Now analog representation a quantity is uh, represented by a continuously changing variable proportional indicator. Example speedometer and thermometer. Now in bike you have a speedometer in car you have a speedometer what does it indicate it indicates the speed of the vehicle okay suppose you want to accelerate from 0 to 60 kilo 0 kilometer per hour to 60 kilometer per hour when you accelerate <coughs> the speed gradually increases <coughs> that is the speed gradually varies from 0 10 kilometer per hour 20 kilometer per hour 30 and so on to 60 kilometer per hour since this is continuously variable, this representation is called as an analog representation. Similarly, in the thermometer, if your body temperature <coughs> is increasing, then it is not going to uh, directly increase, it is going to increase gradually. Suppose your body temperature is increasing from 20 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius, then it is going to increase like 
20, 21, 22. In fact, it is going to increase in decimals 20, 20.1 20 degrees Celsius and like that. Because this increase will be continuous, it is called as a analog representation. We, are, we can represent it in analog form. Digital representation. The quantity is represented not continuous variable the quantities are represented not by continuously variable indicator but by symbols called digits now the speed is uh, we know that um, uh, the speed will gradually increase but if you represent that in digital form then you are going to represent in different time intervals see for example at 0 second the speed is 0 km per hour at 10 second the speed is 10 km per hour at 10 um, second the speed is 20 km per hour like that at different intervals different values of the uh, 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 speed it will be having okay so this indication of uh, the speed is at different time intervals is called as the digital representation okay similarly the thermometer okay suppose you hold the thermometer and you increase uh, uh, body temperature by entering into some uh, hot room you say then at time interval say for example at uh, the time you enter uh, a room a hot room say at you enter at zero time zero second and at that time the body temperature is 20 degrees after 5 seconds your body temperature will be say for example 22 after uh, 10 seconds the body temperature will be 25 so at different intervals you will be having a temperature you are noting your temperature at different intervals so when you plot a graph at 5 seconds you will have a value at 10 seconds you will have a value and at 15 seconds you will have a value so this value at different individual time instants is called as a digital representation so therefore the major difference between analog and digital quantities can be simply stated as analog is continuous at any point of time you have a value at digital you have at a particular instant or a discrete step by step values you have okay so let us answer some of the uh, questions based on the uh, topics we have studied now. So which of the following involve analog quantities and which involve digital quantities? Elevation using a ladder. Now this elevation you are uh, climbing uh, continuously, correct? So uh, or you are uh, uh, climbing step by step. So this is a digital representation right elevation using a ramp ramp is continuous okay ramp is uh, for example a step okay you use a staircase right a staircase is also called as a ramp so because uh, this is a analog representation current flowing from an electrical outlet through a motor now the current flowing is a continuously changing variable so it is a analog quantity Height of a child measured by a yardstick ruler. Uh, ruler. So uh, the height of a uh, child it is represented using the digital representation. Height of a child again uh, putting a mark on the wall. Again it is a digital quantity. Amount of rocks in a bucket. The amount of rocks in a bucket it is again uh, you are going to represent how many rocks are there using digits. right? So it is a digital representation. Amount of sand in a bucket you are going to represent it in um, in uh, again digit this much kg of sand is there so it is again a digital quantity time of a day using a sundial so sundial is nothing but the kind of time uh, in the sundial it is a continuously changing okay so it is a analog quantity time of the day on your cell phone on your cell phone <coughs> time is also changing but it is represented in digital form on a cell phone so therefore it is a digital quantity analog and digital systems okay or uh, digital or and analog systems a digital system is a combination of devices designed 
to manipulate logical information or physical quantities that are represented in digital form okay that is the quantities can take only on uh, take on only discrete values these devices are most often electronic but they can also be mechanical magnetic or pneumatic an analog system on the other hand contains devices that manipulate physical quantities that are represented in analog form okay an analog system in an analog system the quantities can vary over a continuous range of values for example amplitude of the output signal to the speaker in a radio receiver can have any value between 0 and its maximum limit okay so this is the digital signal and analog system okay advantages of digital techniques digital systems are generally easier to design information storage is easy accuracy and precision are easier to maintain throughout the system operations can be programmed digital circuits are less affected by noise more digital circuitry can be fabricated on ic chips what are the uh, uh, limitations of digital techniques so the real world uh, is analog see uh, now the not naturally occurring uh, signals are all analog in nature okay that means they are continuously varying to obtain a digital signal you need to process this analog signal okay so by taking uh, the uh, by taking the value of this analog signal at particular instance of time you get a digital signal okay so digital signal is not commonly found the commonly found signal is analog signal okay so to get the digital signal you have to process it okay so this during this processing some error is uh, error will occur okay it is bound to happen so this is one of the limitation of this digital signal okay and the processing it also takes time to take advantage of digital te techniques when dealing with analog inputs and outputs four steps must be involved okay first you have to convert the physical variable into an electrical signal next the uh, electrical signal that is a analog signal it sh should be converted into a digital form and then a uh, process on this digital form uh, or the digital information uh, should happen and then this digital information has to be converted back to real world analog form a simple example i'll tell you now physical variable is uh, i am speaking okay while i am speaking my speed is an continuously vary varying signal okay sometimes i speak with low voice sometimes i speak with higher voice okay so this is a continuously variable signal okay so this continuously uh, variable physical signal that is speech signal is converted into a equivalent electrical signal how that is when i speak low it is um, uh, uh, corresponding to a uh, low voltage signal and when i speak high it will correspond to a high uh, voltage signal okay so this uh, electrical signal are converted uh, into digital form in the uh, recorder for example i am recording through a recorder right so uh, the electrical signal is converted into digital form okay now this digital format is processed okay some noise if uh, is uh, there, there that will be filtered out so this process will happen and Uh, uh this pro uh, after this uh, digital information is obtained on your side you are going to convert this digital information back into real world analog form that means you are going to uh, hear the physical signal the speech signal itself right so therefore what uh, at your end happens is the digital signal is converted back into the analog form that is a real world analog form so this process it takes time and this is one of the drawback of uh, digital techniques although this is the drawback but this is much more uh, the advantages are more than the disadvantages you can see okay this is one of the uh, diagram of a uh, precision digital temperature control in uh, in which you are setting a temperature here 
okay and uh, digital processor it converts this um, whatever uh, it is uh, the the temperature is set it will convert that into the equivalent um, uh, analog uh, electrical quantity this ele electrical uh, voltage or the electrical signal it will convert that into a heat and uh, this heat is sensed by a sensor which will again convert that into an electrical signal and this electrical signal is converted back into digital form and it will be processed by the digital processor to show what is the actual temperature okay what you have set and what uh, uh, after uh, sending it to this system what you will get the output okay that is again displayed here In the further part, we will continue with the digital number system and the following topics.